Oh, hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is my first live stream. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to try to put some background music on. You guys can let me know how it sounds. If it's too loud, too soft. Just trying to get it to where I can see everybody's comments and see what I'm doing at the same time. Hello everybody, thanks for joining me. How does the background music sound? Is it too loud or? Can anyone even hear it? Is it too low? <laughs> okay, cool. Hi, Michelle. Thanks so much for the stuff you sent. I'm also going to be recording this for a video. So if you guys see any little red dots popping up for recording, that's what's happening on and off. So don't bother. Don't worry about that. Hi, Red Lorraine. Thanks so much for joining in. The, the um, volume's a little low. Let's see if I can fix it a little bit higher. Let's see if I can clear up a few there. Kathy, you can tell I'm so nervous, can't you? Okay. So this is our little box. It's a five by seven and a half. This is kind of a laser cut wooden frame. that I'm going to use of Persephone. There's a link to the artist in the description. I'm only using the Persephone. It was her and Hades in the original art, but I decided to put a Cerberus here because I thought that looked kind of cute. He's going to get cut off a little bit. He's probably going to be about that much. Thank you guys for all the encouragement. So I think we'll paint first and then we'll start doing our stuff. As you can see, it's a little shiny because I thought it might be best to do just a little Mod Podge on the top of them. A little gloss, kind of seal it up. grab a paper towel. My favorite paper towels are these blue um, shop towels actually you can get them in a giant roll and once you get them dirty and paint covered surprisingly even though they seem like paper you can throw them in the washer and dryer and um, you keep reusing them over and over so and the uh, <laughs> the roll of shop towels 
will last me probably the rest of my life if I keep reusing them, so. This one, as you can see, has already been kind of glossed up. It has some Mod Podge on it. I'm just going to do this one too. I wasn't sure if I'd need one or two of them, so. Yes, steal, Michelle, steal some of his um, shop cloths. sure if this is entirely necessary but I'm kind of a Mod Podge girl so I kind of throw it on everything I figure it can't hurt it can only help so we're just gonna let this dry and move on to our wood here video on Persephone if you don't know the myth but she originally the name Kore or Maiden when she lived above ground and was a young woman and then she uh, became the queen of the underworld and um, half the year three months of the year depends on which version you listen to but uh, she lives in rules aside beside Hades in the underworld so I thought we might go from yellow to green up here and then move down to red and black and kind of just have it be like upper world, lower world. Even in the pandemic, you made it possible for us to still craft together. Red Lorraine is a friend IRL. Absolutely. So this is going to eventually get glued on top of this and then the shrine will hang on the wall probably with a with a nail here so the whole thing will be kind of 3d off the wall i don't really have a plan for today so i mean i obviously i do have a plan but i don't have a clear plan This is a metal baking uh, tray, a little ceramic. Looks like pollen, Martha Stewart. Am I recording? <laughs> I forgot to check. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to turn that on and off because my camera only records for a certain amount of time. So all the wood pieces are from Amazon and Sorry, I'm skipping some of the comments, but thank you for all your encouragement, everyone. Um, I did try to link to everything. These I bought so long ago that um, I did I I did put a link to the product, but it says currently unavailable. So I think you can find something like this on Amazon. You probably could get um, an artist on Etsy to, to do them for you. A lot of people who have the laser cutters make this kind of stuff on Etsy. I 
I also have some wheat. I wasn't sure though, like, do we really want to glue wheat on? I feel like if it gets knocked into or anything, then the wheat's just gonna, I don't know. I'm not missing some chat here. There we go. Hi, Lizzie. I'm glad you didn't miss the stream. Now, I'm going to take this footage and edit it into a video, um, like, a you know, one of the fancy ones that's all, you know, speed uh, sped up and edited to take all the mistakes out. <laughs> so it will eventually come back as a video. That's our yellow. I think we should go with green. Uh, this one is uh, something about cut lawn or grass or something. Ooh. Okay, fresh cut grass. How about that? Here's another tip. When you guys get um, your paints with these plastics on them, just turn it the opposite way of opening the paint. And those will come right off. You don't have to find an exacto blade. first time somebody showed me that tip I was like I have been cutting those things off of my paint for how long <laughs> it's just a twist what so if you got the tip on the on the opening of the paint you basically got the most important piece of the live stream if you need to go. I like these kind of projects because they're kind of like um, assemblage, you know, where you, you glue a bunch of stuff together and it all comes together and it looks cool, but you don't have to have any uh, kind of skill. just kind of stab the paint on wherever you want and it just looks like you meant to do that so we have our yellow and our green for the upper upper world I might do a wash of um, a little bit more yellow over this later when it dries a wash is when you take your paint and you add a lot of water to it to to thin it and then just do a very thin coating so we have our upper world Let's see where that kind of goes to that goes to about about right there so we're going to also paint this box in the same colors this balsa wood really soaks up paint like crazy just FYI, I'm using it straight out of the bottle so I can keep pouring more out without a change in color. But if you're mixing up your own color, mix a lot. Because this, it really soaks, 
soaks up the paint. And you need more than you think. I always use plaid paints, mostly folk art, sometimes Martha Stewart, because they have the best coverage in acrylic paints. Right out of the bottle, if you use it pretty thick, it's, it's usually only one coat, maybe two. See, this is where I'm going to stop recording because in a video, when I cut it all together for a video, you don't need to see every moment of painting. You just have to suggest what's happening. Hi, Tammy. Glad you could make it. So one of the things that makes me nervous about live streaming is that you guys can see me make mistakes. In most of my videos, I can edit all that out and everything looks like it went smoothly the first try. How about that fancy camera work? Can't learn without mistakes, that's true. Tessa, if you miss anything, I'm gonna turn this into a video. I'm gonna edit the footage and turn it into a video so it'll come out. So I watched a video about live streaming on YouTube versus Twitch. And a lot of people are saying, do YouTube. So if I, if I live stream on Twitch, I find that I'll, I only have like one person that ever comes to view me. And that, that's just random luck. So I'm really glad that you all came today. I'm going to paint the sides, but not the back. I'll leave the black back plain because that'll go against the wall. Whoops, I'm off the screen. That's what I get for zooming in. I have to say that this Martha Stewart, um, it actually says watercolor. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. It says watercolor. It's like a soft gel. And I have to say that the colors are so vibrant, but it might be off-putting because it says watercolor, but it's really acrylic paint. So I got to recommend these. Hi, Jill. Thanks. I'm not in a little box. Persephone is going to be in a little box. What? I'm no ocean kill toy. I can't do the puns. That's his job. I 
think we have our yellow. We'll go in with some green. Sorry, I keep hitting the mic, you guys. Is that really loud on your end? Oh, I'm glad you enjoy your pen pal cards. I try to send them out once a month if I can. Whoops, I missed a whole side, you guys. See? <laughs> you seasick with the jiggly camera. It's on a really long arm, so it jiggles a lot. I find that no matter how badly you paint something, if you put a layer of glitter on top of it, it pretty much fixes it. How did you, how did I miss a whole side? You know what, the pen pal cards, I also often throw glitter on those too. I'm kind of a glitter person. So I think the glitter that we're going to go with um, on this is going to be maybe, I haven't decided, but there's this Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. There we go. Try to get the camera to focus. I think that might be the decision as like an overall finisher. I really like Persephone. 
because she is the goddess of springtime and also a ruler in the underworld. So it's so, those two things are so vastly different. It's really interesting. I'm used to most gods and goddesses just having like this one role that's very obvious and distinct. All right, how do we feel about this? Kind of. <laughs> and also it's really trying to show you like it seems a little washed out so like that's how dark it really looks the way my lights are it kind of makes it look a little washed out but there you go that's more of the feel Mmm, pizza dough. Mmm, pizza. I went off my diet, you guys. I went off my diet on Saturday night through to Sunday night, and I am back on my diet until October 1st, and then I'm going off for one more day as a reward. Because I think I will have hit 50,000 subscribers by October 1st. See, so we imagine her being in here. So her head is going to be, you know, right about there. I think that'll be good. Like that. Hi Kelly, glad you made it. Okay, I'll let this dry. We're gonna move on to darker. Okay, so I have this stuff. Sorry. These little items. I'm not in a million. I'm in a niche that's never going to get a million subs. You guys are kind, but. Uh, so I have these little guys. They're made out of. Uh, uh, focus on me. Focus on me. You can do it. They're little skulls. They're little black skulls made out of stone. They're little beads. How cool are those? And then I have these dyed pearls that have been dyed red. And if those don't look like pomegranate seeds, I don't know what does. I'm going to glue this shit everywhere. Extreme close up. See, there, there it is. My nails look horrendous. Don't notice that. So I'm thinking we use some hot glue and we build up down here at the bottom and we paint over it, but we stick skulls into the glue so it looks like stone uh, and, you know, the underworld and people's skulls down there. Yeah. I don't know where the um, pomegranate seeds are going to go. We'll see. Put this back in my bag. Oh yeah, I said I was going to be on for about an hour, but really the answer is I'll be on as long as this takes because I'm not going to rush through it. <laughs> so 
So I'm going to do a background of gray. So just white and black. Oh no, I didn't shake this. Can you hear that? My black is all congealed. Oof, that's not good. I think I'm gonna go get another black bottle of paint. This, this is not good. Well, let me try it. I guess it's okay. Hi, Asteria. I love your channel. I watch your videos all the time. Thanks for joining. Yeah, the um, the pomegranate seeds, they're actually red dyed um, pearls. But garnets are a good idea too. Caught me live finally. Jackie, this is the first live I've ever done. Hopefully, I'd love to be able to do these um, the first and third Wednesdays of every month. Call it Art Witch Wednesday and, um, and have it twice a month. And speaking of pen pal cards, I think it would be fun to make my pen pal cards on a live. Because I sometimes I make videos about my pen pal cards, but that just shows me making one or two, and I actually make a lot of them. I think we're going to go from... Um, light gray to dark gray. I don't know. We're just going to do whatever the muses tell us. I have no plan. Maybe I'll mix some green with the gray to bridge that gap. Ooh. I'm a big proponent of just building up and building up. That's why I like watercolor so much. There's a bit of a flaw in the wood here as well, so I think that the, uh, the idea of using the hot glue to build up at the bottom here is going to hide that too.
this box was originally meant to be used for um, planting succulents in. It's not even um, a garden craft. <laughs> it's not even from the arts and crafts section. It's from the, I don't know, home, home section, I guess. If any of you guys are um, patrons, um, I did a poll on my Patreon as to which uh, deities you wanted to see shrines for. So if I do 12 of these um, in the new year, for, I'm trying to come up with 12 deities to create the shrines for. And I will also put a poll on YouTube after I get a bunch of answers from my patrons. Then I'll narrow it down from my patrons to everybody. Oh, Astoria, yeah, you can sign up on um, a pen pal. My pen pals are pa my patrons. Yeah, so it's a level on my Patreon. Thanks, Witchy Witchy. And um, right now, the wording says that I, at random times throughout the year, I send a card, but I really do try to do it once a month. And for sure, I absolutely um, will be doing it for every, uh, at least eight times a year, right? Because the wheel of the year, kind of trying to follow the wheel of the year. But sometimes I just send random ones, like the ocean ones and that I did. in frame there we go hey lipstick thanks for dropping by my first live did a collab with lipstick um, for Lama, so everybody go check out her channel after this and see our Lama's collab. was fun. You know what will be fun is our next collab if we can pull it off. Oh cool, I'm glad you guys liked it. I was I was actually my first collaboration with any channels. It's so funny. There's a lot of firsts this year. <laughs> also had this in the back of my mind to start a podcast next year <laughs> I don't know I'm just one person I don't know how much of this I really can pull off but we'll see I just love the idea of being able to talk about something without having to edit full-on edit a video because that's what takes up all the time is the editing right so 
podcast seems really freeing. At least the idea of a podcast. What am I making? Oh, this is a shrine to Persephone. So we're going to go from kind of like the upper world, which is the green and yellow, to the underworld, which is where we're going grays and blacks. I'm trying to do a, um, a live stream of one shrine per month and two live streams a month. So I'm not sure what the second one will be, but maybe pen pal cards or something like that. I wonder if after I'm done with all of this, I should just do a dark wash over it all to kind of just pull out the color. Unfortunately, if I screw that up, then I will have screwed up the whole thing. So I don't know. How brave am I? Are you still up for that second collab lipstick? It's a lot more work on your end than it is my end. I'll tell you that for free. That's such a good idea, Jill. Cool. Yeah, let's paint a little just so we can see what it would look like to go over. Put some of the yellow and the green on the back as well, just to kind of see. So smart. We're all doing it together. We're all doing this craft. live streaming and filming for a video to, at the same time is hard. It's very hard. Okay, that looks good. Good, good, good. Maybe a little bit of darkness down here. Should I tell them what the second collab idea is? Or should it be secret? We're being very, we're being very uh, secretive. Okay, that is that. You are so relaxing to watch. Oh, you're so welcome. I think I give off that kind of love and light vibe. Though Red Lorraine can tell you IRL, I am not that guy. All right, we have our sampling on the back to test the wash. No, sorry, lipstick said it's secret. <laughs> oh yeah, sneak peeks. That's a really good way to frustrate both of our viewerships. Oh. 
I really feel like maybe we go to absolute black at the very bottom. Red Lorraine is trying to tell you that I have a resting witch face. So everybody, when they first meet me, thinks that I'm mad at them. I don't have any Stuart Simple Black, but I am going to pull out a new bottle of Ligorish. Anybody who missed my first tip, if you want to get this stuff off, you just turn it the opposite way of opening, and this pops off in your hand. All right. Head is in the shot. Great. I'm such a cinematographer. Getting really underworldy here now. Notice that <laughs> yeah, she has purple hair. You guys are finding out stuff about me. What do you guys think of this time? Lipstick, thank you so much for the super chat. You're my first super chat ever. Heather Moon says yes for a podcast. I really want to. Patricia, thank you. I want to, I want to. I just don't know how many more things I can add, <laughs> add into my life. I did rent a studio, an artist, uh, like an office and artist area so that I would have a space to set up, you know, for filming and recording other than my house because my house was getting taken over by the, the YouTube channel and all the stuff it required. There was something on every surface in every room. So I think I could do a podcast. 
I mean, my neighbors, the office beside me, sometimes completely silent. I don't know what these people do in there. Other times it sounds like a party or video games or something. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's different people in the morning than it is in the evening. It's always different people. Did somebody move out and somebody else move in? I can't tell. And I never actually see them go in or out. That's kind of creepy as I discuss this with you. I realize this sounds a little sketchy. Downside to this working, I'm, I'm streaming from the office I just mentioned, and Noelle is my kitty. And uh, I used to have a, we used to do a live stream for a different project, and uh, my kitty would sometimes just jump up and get on camera and be like, hey, what you doing? Put her nose in the paint, you know, as they do. We need to mix some green with some gray and then bridge the gap somehow with a greenish gray. I don't know. We're going to try. Am I doing it? Is it happening? I think I did it. Okay, I think our backgrounds are done. What do you guys think? Except that this is probably not dark enough down here. I think it's all going to come together when this was on top of this from dark to light pretty much The podcast is when you just sit with other artists and crafters and just ramble about everything. <laughs> Ooh, I have to get a pair of scissors to cut this out. I'll be right back.
first thing is I want to do a one inch little punch out of one of these, pers per, um, not persimmons. Oh my God. looking to see what symbol symbolized Persephone best but I ended up just coming up with a pomegranate you know what I think it'd be easier to just try it again that's why I had three because I knew one of them wasn't gonna wasn't gonna pan out for me. I'm prepared. Completely unrelated here, but I'm still loving my spirit animal oracle out. <laughs> D. Thomas. Yes, I'm speaking. Alright. We did it on the first try, you guys. I mean the second try with the first try of the second try so basically it's the first try oh I have too much stuff on this desk it's time to get rid of some of this uh, mess let me reorganize for one second the music is, hmm, I'm going to say it's just a royalty-free piece of music from the YouTube library because playing anything other than that is um, going to get a copyright strike and then I won't be able to keep this video up. So I only use music from the YouTube um, library, the, the stuff that they provide for free. Thanks so much for dropping by, Astoria. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that pomegranate and put it inside this, this little thing here that's, it's like for a piece of jewelry or something like that. And I'm going to use Mod Podge to stick it in there. Well, it's in there pretty well right now, but I'm going to use just a little bit of Mod Podge. You know, Michelle, what I like to use the, the uh, Spirit or an Animal Oracle app for it is... I like to look for, um, look up any animals that I see on the day. Thank you so much for the super chat. Am I saying that right? Is that a super chat? Okay, so that should dry and glue that in place. And then we'll put that at the top center of the shrine, a little symbol. Glitter and duct tape, what a great screen name. A little jealous I didn't think of that one. Sometimes I, uh, 
I'll see a red tail hawk or I'll see a ravens and crows or well, I'll hear a bat go over my house or there'll be a grasshopper that just will not get off my car no matter how loudly I slam the car door. I'm leaving now. You can get off my car. And so I always look up the animals that I interact with like that. So this is the picture that I'm cutting out from here. So that's the scene that we're building. Hey, if the muses say it's time for wine, you just got to listen. One of my worst skills is cutting, you guys, so this might be a little, a little hard to watch. Wine o'clock, it's wine o'clock. Might have to get in there with an exacto knife to get some of those details. You can see the original artwork in the um, in the link below this uh, live stream. Originally, it was her and Hades, and I just took out Hades. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind the idea of her and Hades. I just think that you know, just a shrine to Persephone. She doesn't need to be defined by. <laughs> And actually, a couple people on my Patreon poll wanted a, a shrine just to Hades, which I think would be a really fun one to do. My favorite goddess? I have to pick one? Oh my gosh. It's a 50-50. Well, I have to pick my two favorites and not give a percentage. Yeah, for me, it, I really should be doing this with the X-Acto knife. I'm actually embarrassed to be cutting on stream. <laughs> yeah, they. Uh, I'm just old enough to have been in that generation where they tried to get you to be right-handed. Let's see, if I had to pick two favorite goddesses, it would be Ma'at from ancient Egypt, goddess of truth, and um, Lakshmi from the Hindu religion, goddess of wealth and good fortune and basically everything I like. She's my jam, and she has a really amazing festival. And the more I research about it, the more I like, the more I like her. Those are my top two, I would say. What's KSC, Joe? Oh, Kennedy Space Center.
think I would have grabbed the X-Acto knife quicker if I had had a cutting, uh, like a, all right, I would have to go find the, the, the plastic bit, but I'm gonna have to use it for the inside bit, so. Don't have any choice. If you try to do a, uh, a family tree of the gods and goddesses, it gets all, it gets very interesting. Or at least I should say the Greek gods and goddesses. It gets very interesting. And it doesn't help that a lot of the information that we have is so old and it's such in it and some bits are missing and hard to discern contradictory so many things have been lost to time There are so many gods and goddesses that uh, we don't know very much about. Only a few myths survive. Oh my goodness, I should have cut this out before the stream and just had it ready. Yay, this is my first live stream ever, so you made it to the first one, Lady Galaxia. Sebastian, I love the idea of justice and truth, and that is why the goddess Ma'at is, is probably one of my faves, top two. See, the thing is, is, whoops, we're not even gonna see all of this dog. So there's really no point in me having, oh, what a waste of time. Sorry, guys, I didn't realize we're cutting this dog off here. She's gonna be in the middle of the shrine and he's only gonna have a little bit of space. Dope. consider doing my own drawings of the goddess before I started the stream but I realized you know I had such trouble with that with that goddess greeting card that I did um, a couple weeks ago and I, I filmed that three different times <laughs> because I wasn't happy with the, the picture I'd drawn so I thought that if I have to draw goddesses every time I do a shrine I'm, I'm not going to be able to live. Wondering if I can't just uh, use a little bit of marker here to fill in the gray rather than cutting this out. This might be my solution. So let's see where we're gonna put her. She's gonna go about here, right in the middle of the shrine. So we're only gonna go, well, yeah, right about here on the dog. So a little bit less work, I guess. 
right, I'm gonna take the plunge. What do we think of that? That seems right. I like it. Hi, Starlight. Oof, the first live stream. Well, I finally got less nervous, so that's a thing that's happening. I'm not going to say that uh, I'm 100% calm. <laughs> you guys, I almost uh, backed out. I almost didn't push the live button at the last second. <laughs> I'm glad I put it out there on social media that I was doing this because soon as people said, oh, yay, I'll see you there, then I was like, okay, I have to do it. <laughs> For sure, we'll have my uh, items trimmed out before the next stream. <laughs> In some cases, for some of the shrines I intend to do, I have little statues. I do already had I already had some picked out um, before I did my poll on Patreon. So um, one of the ones that I'm going to do for sure is. Mott, and I have a little, um, I have a little statue of her, and um, Ganesha, and um, I have a little statue of him as well. So there will be no cutting out. <laughs> and I think with the, I'm also going to do um, Aphrodite, and I think I'm going to do a shell grotto for her. So I'm going to do a, a whole picture background and then just do the, the shell uh, grotto around that. At least that's kind of how it is in my brain right now. And they will also not all be in these boxes with these frames. Some of them will be because I have a set of four of these, but um, some of the other ones will be in different, um, different settings. So all the shrines will look different. I'm sorry, I know you all didn't sign up for a stream where I just cut paper. <laughs> the difference between live and uh, an edited video is very extreme. When I edit this footage down into a video, it'll probably only be five minutes. <laughs> Yay, finally the dog is done. I really wish I had, um, I really wish I had some of those small scissors here. <laughs> I do have some of those at home, but not here at the studio. going to call that good. So I think I think we got to do our glitter first. And we put our shrine together and then we'll put the lady in the shrine and then we will do the build up of the glue and put the skulls around her feet. And then add all the other decorations around that. I think that's the best order of operations. So hot glue, let's hot glue this baby. Oh, Ed, you're very nice. 
it makes my hands shake to be uh <laughs> do do nervous things on stream okay we're gonna do it i glue this baby down What do you guys think of the time of this stream? 4 p.m. Pacific time means 7 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, I thought I might do red. I kind of have a burgundy. I think it'll match her a little bit of her dress. I guess I probably should do that first, huh? Put a little bit in the background first and then... Yeah, 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 yeah. Good call, good call. We're all, we're all in this together. Thank you. not gonna lie it's been a minute since I've opened this burgundy paint and I had a little bit of little bit of black oh yeah good call good call oh, I gotta get my head out of the uh, shot Me likey, me likey. Eastern time zone says perfect. I figure my stream would be at least an hour, if not longer, so. Um, you know, so it doesn't start getting super late here. I thought four to six or. Ooh, it looks like blood. Ooh, we got a little piece of paper in there. Well, it's part of the project now. I was originally going to do morning streams, but then I thought, you know, so many people are at work. It's probably a bad idea. Is this too creepy? kind of like it. I mean, it may be the underworld for everybody else, but for her, it's home.
you well, we definitely made it creepy, so that's that's a thing. Mm, yes, um, I will be doing Oh, Dennis White, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh yeah, um, Lady Galaxia, I will um do I'd like to do two a month. I'm calling them Art Witch Wednesdays and I'm thinking about doing them the first and third Wednesday of each month. Okay, so now we have, just to make this project a little more complex. What about these? We have little lights. Wait, focus on the lights. Why my camera hate me? Okay. So I made a little hole right there. So I was hoping to string some lights inside the scene, maybe at the end of the project. Or um, they could also be outside the scene. They could be strung inside uh, the filigree. So that's a whole nother option. I'm just saying it would look really cool to be able to go up to the shrine and turn on the light. Uh, that'd be a fun way to kind of activate it or when you're going to spend some time in it. Oh, hell yes, glitter and little lights. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm, I may be overthinking this, but th these are my thoughts. Let's get the glitter. Let's get our glitter on, shall we? It's Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. So let's get extreme. Red Lorraine, I want to do first and third Wednesdays of each month, but this is just my tester one, so this isn't the first or third Wednesday, so I'll probably be doing, I guess, second and fourth <laughs> this month, and then get into a schedule after that somehow. All right, we'll just go in extreme glitter. It doesn't look extreme right now, but just wait. Mod Podge always goes on kind of whitish and then it dries clear. So anybody who feels worry right now, don't feel, don't feel worry. Oops, I should have let that red dry. Having a little bleed through. Oops, that's the microphone. Sorry, I keep hitting that, you guys. It's right by my paintbrush. Extreme pink. We'd be adding something to represent the pomegranate. Yes, um, we just did this earlier. We have like a little, we have a little pomegranate guy. Focus. It's gonna go at the top somewhere. And because Mod Podge kind of works as glue, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and put um, Persephone and. Cerberus into the scene. With this glue.
I feel like all arts and crafts have a situation where you have to believe in what's going to happen <laughs> when you think you've ruined it. Like it, it looks a little funky right now, but we all just have to believe. Believe in the power of glitter. Jill, I just realized I forgot to do the wash test. I got so excited about glitter. I don't know if you guys can see yet, but as it starts to dry, it should become a little bit more obvious. The glitter will. I think it's going to be easiest to put the lights on the out, outer portion rather than trying to string them inside. Okay, I think I have glitter all the way around. Now I'm going to use this glitter glue as glue. Your little pupper in here. Stick him down. He's a good doggo. put a layer on for her here. Take out that tool. Here she is. Oh, she looks so pretty in here. I don't want to get glitter on top of her because I want her to stand out. Oh, 
Oh, it looks so cool. It's starting to really get there, isn't it? Let's wait till we get the skulls on. You could wrap it around the glue pile, then put the heads and seeds in the open spaces. I'm going to put the glue pile, yeah, on the bottom as the ground. I got the seeds. The skulls are ready. I don't feel like she's that securely stuck. This pupper paw won't stay down either. Stay down. You stay. I wonder if this was too ambitious of a project to do on a single stream. Oh, I'm really excited about it. I'm loving how this is coming out, you guys. So we have this portion of the show where it has to dry, so I know, but do we want to stick the lights into the glue? I don't know about that. I don't know. I might have to turn off my mic and try and dry it. Should I try with the mic on? And then you can tell me if it's horrible. Okay, I'm going to do it. If it's really loud, I'll, I'll turn off my mic. You tell me. Okay, I was really worried, but it is a directional mic, so as long as I don't put this right in the direction. Can you see how much glitter is involved in this extreme glitter? It's no joke. This is this is the product. If anybody wants to get some and make their lives extremely glittered. My mic is an off brand it's still like it's not a really cheap one but it's also not like yeti expensive i went for like a middle price for this thing this was the best 15 dollars i ever spent man these dryers it's yeah, especially with painting on watercolor paper, if you want to put another layer on and you need your first layer to dry. Yeah, glitter. It's no joke. There's a reason why the product calls itself Extreme. This is by no, no means completely dry, but I'm just getting it dry enough to continue.
Can we call it dry enough to continue? Yeah. Probably be okay. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't link to the dryer in the in the description. I probably should have. I didn't realize I was going to use it. But it's linked in a bunch of my other videos or I mean you can just search on Amazon. I like to I like I, li I usually link to the purple one because I'm a purple person. <sighs> what are your three favorite colors? Red Lorraine, your favorite color is red. Okay, now we're going to see if this glue plan is going to work. I haven't tested it. It was just a thought I had. Get our skulls out. bleached hair. I only bleach my hair twice a year in July and January. All the rest of the time I just touch it up. But I look ridiculous with bleached hair. Okay, that's all my skulls. I get it, a hair, just a hair. Ugh. This is also, what I have under here is parchment paper, just like you would bake on. So that's another little tip. Oh, it's not dry. I mean, it feels, it's getting there, but we're gonna go for it, you guys. <laughs> I'm scared. It's going to be a lot of glue. That's the first glue stick already. How many people in here have the purple? Jill? Kelly? Red Lorraine has red for sure. Renee. <laughs> That's what mine was going to be. We are the purple hair squad. <laughs> I think it's a witchy thing to do, right? I don't know. I've had it for about four years. It's a pain to keep up, but I like it. I'm just gonna squeeze this glue in here like crazy. We're going to create the floor of the underworld. I'm trying to 
try not to get too many of the little um, the strings. Doing some uh, creative stalagmites. Are those the ones on the bottom? Oh, camera. What the F? There we go. Why does it not want to, I'm too close? Maybe I can, if I go a little further away, it will be nicer to me. Sorry about that. I don't know how long that was uh, blurry. Okay, I'm going to stick a few of these babies in. Okay, let's put a few more down here by her feet. Like she's trampling upon the skulls of the... Uh hey, that looks pretty cool. Extreme glitter. Look at that glitter in these lights, these overhead lights. Insanity. Should I use all of the skulls or should I just be, or should I calm down? I've got a lot of skulls in there. I also wonder if I should maybe put a few on the outside. Mm, maybe like this. Or if I should put the pomegranate seeds around the outside instead. I 
I never have enough skulls. You know, Percy is, I don't know if she's hardcore, if this is just another Tuesday, right? Is there anybody going to come down here and help me clean up? She is the queen, damn it. She is not the help. expect me to come down here after six months of you acting like a bachelor and clean up after your mess? You have another thing coming, mister. We're going to get in here and we're going to cover this glue up with some paint, by the way. It's not going to look like a big old mess like this. Why does this camera hate me all of a sudden? I noticed that the dark goddesses were a really popular request. There were a lot of requests for um, Persephone and Hecate and Morgan and a lot, not a lot of requests for Kali. But I think that, yeah, you know he's been playing video games for six months straight. <laughs> yeah, this is what Hades does while she's, while she's up with her mom. She plays video games for six months. Okay. That's a lot of skulls. Eh, well, you know what? I only have two more. I'm sure I could fit two more in here. Nice. Okay. I'm, ha I'm happy with the, this skull distribution. <laughs> Woo! Glitter bomb. All right. So we have that. Let's start painting over this glue. Do you guys think that we should just put the pomegranates around the seeds around the edges? As like a little bit of a decor. Not really sure. Okay, we're gonna get in here with a little tiny bush. Like a, like a smallish. We're going to paint, paint the glue kind of a, a gray color because I don't want it to be strict, strictly black because the skulls are black. That would be too obby. Try to pull off all these little strings as well while I'm doing it. And it'll kind of be obvious um, because um, it'll be matte and everything else is so <laughs> shiny.
this is one of those things where I would show a few minutes of it on a uh, in a video and then we would just come back and we'd be done <laughs> I can you tell that I'm already editing this footage in my brain oh and I'm not even recording this so what footage you ask <laughs> yep I'm a pro The cool thing about YouTube is that anybody can have a channel. The bad thing about YouTube is that anybody can have a channel. I kind of like her with this little pupper. I could leave all the um, glue strings and just say that there's a giant spider down here. this camera decides to focus on and what I'm actually doing are always two different things. I'm just mixing black and white paint together so the gray is different every time just different shades of gray down here. I guess that's fine. Unfortunately, if I don't get my head in the shot, I can't really see what spots I've hit and what I've missed. Might have to go back in after the stream and do a little bit more here. I'm really hard on my brushes. I just like smush them in there. That's probably not great, but Okay, well, what do we think? Yeah, good. Did I miss anything really obvious? I'm looking on the camera. Mm -hmm. Could be better. Also, I think maybe... If I do a treatment like this again, I maybe wouldn't use glue sticks. I Maybe I would use more of like a spackling paste or something like that. I look a little bit more realistic. Oops. Oh no, I got some paint on the skull. Yeah, I think I got it. Mostly.
I have to cheat because I didn't cut these out of the paper. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so pomegranate seeds all around. Is that what we think? I think so. Mm, too far. you guys think about putting the um, weight at the top, that too on the nose. We don't have to put everything but the kitchen sink in there. So these are red dyed uh, natural pearls, freshwater pearls. Wow, this looks cooler than I thought it was going to. Those look really cool. Witchy witchy. Thank you so much for the super chat. Or did you push the join button? Is that what happened? This is my first stream. I don't really know all the things, but thank you for whichever one you did. Dodi, I, I feel you. I feel you. I'm nervous. So do we think, yes, I kind of dig it. It's just so delicate though. I feel like it looks cool though. Megan Black, hi. Welcome. I love your channel. I love all your content. I love being a patron.
that's a yes. I think that yes is for the wheat. Yeah, I kind of dig it. Three on each side, or is that too much? Does the goddess of spring think that three weeds is too much? Oh, that's so cool looking. How cool is that? Yeah, I just did a video on Demeter too. Um, if you guys want to check it out, it's one of my goddess ones. I wanted to make sure it came out in September during the Eleusian Mysteries. I feel like the weed is good on top because it's, you know, the growing things and then the, the seeds are on the bottom with the darker. And then I think we just, we just put the lights on the outside because I don't think I can string them inside. Yeah, I feel like it's always either an odd number, Jill. It's because in, I heard somewhere, psychologically, if you make everything even, like two, four, six, our brains want to count it, but if you make it odd, then people just kind of accept it as art. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I heard that somewhere. I made that up probably. She's doing it. Ooh, she's doing it. Okay. I committed to doing it. I had the wrong side up at first. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if that's actually true, that odd and even thing, but I heard that somewhere in, in my brain that tracked really true to me. So I've always kind of thought about that. I also had some fake flowers that I considered putting at the top because Corey and the Maiden and all that, um, I thought maybe flowers would be a better representation, but I think this looks really cool covering up what's behind. So I think we're going with this <laughs> for coolness factor. Oops, I ran out of glue. Oh, how fun is that? I dig it, I dig it. And I didn't think I was going to put the wheat on at all. But I think it really makes it. It definitely makes it a lot more um, like fragile though. Cycle of life, skulls to wheat. Skulls to wheat. Of course I will spend some time cleaning this up after the stream to get all the little bits. But let's put some lights on it and see how cool it will look. I'm gonna um, take one moment to clean up. Just because I think the reveal will be better without all the junk. <laughs> Thank you. 
and this, I'm not sure that this really works for me anymore. I was going to put it up at the top. Um, I'm not sure really if I like it. Maybe at the bottom. Yeah, I think the bottom is the answer or not at all. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments if I should leave it off or put it at the bottom. I don't want to put it at the top because we need a place for the nail to, to be able to hang this. Yeah, I love the fact that it looks like a little curtain. So this is relatively flat. You think to keep it? Um, so this is relatively flat. We need to keep this part uh, visible so that people can change out the batteries. And this is the on and off button, so we have to be able to keep that. So I will glue this. Oh, see that weight makes it so. Mm -hmm. So I will glue this on like that. Can you turn it on? Red Lorene does not have a channel, but uh, she does have an Etsy shop and it's called Scarlet Nymph and she does glitter watercolors and I use them in some of my videos when I do the uh, greeting cards for the Wheel of the Year. So you can see some of her products. And this is her store name. I also have a discount code for 25% off of her watercolors, but I'm sorry I don't have that in the description. I'll have it for the next live stream, but it's in the description of any of those videos that I made the watercolor cards. Whoops, I got tangled. That's not bad. You can just twist it. Okay. Two hour stream, you guys. It's going to end up probably being two and a half hours. Thank you for everybody who's stuck, <laughs> stuck with me from the beginning. Wow. I thought this would take about an hour. I'm learning um, as I go. I think I'm going to glue this down as well. I'm definitely going to tell people to bring coffee or wine or something <laughs> next time. Oh, the Red Lorraine is a f uh, friend IRL. She lives, she lives uh, near me. We've actually been friends for decades. This is another thing that I would start, I would show you how to do the beginning part and then I would skip over all of the tedious part in a video if I was editing it. I'm going to have to weave this in and out.
but I think I will do a lot of this on the front and then hook it so that when I'm weaving I'm not uh, not weaving one for one for one for one like lacing shoes because then that would take forever. but since it's copper wire I think um, we can use that to our advantage and manipulate it a little bit super patient yeah usually um, the difference between a YouTube video and <laughs> yeah my actual crafting is pretty dip, pretty big usually when I import all my footage it's an hour's worth of footage for a 10 minute video so it's really really cut down very much the I have a bunch of these I think I linked to these in the description as well um, I think they come in like a pack of 12 or a pack of six so if you wanted to do this on a shrine and you wanted to just load it up with lights you could you could definitely put two or three on here or if you wanted to do some outside and some inside you could you know do that as well I might put this on my Etsy shop. I'm, I'm not sure though, honestly, how would this mail? Like, I think that it would go through the mail. I mean, even if I tried to protect it, I think it would come out the other end in a sad way. I'm not sure that I could I could guarantee a decent outcome. When I put all those cell seashells that I painted up on my shop, I had to figure out a way to ship all of those as well. I ended up putting them in metal tins to ship them out. And that worked out really well. Keep, it kept them perfectly protected and then, and I didn't have anybody tell me that there's broke so I was pretty happy with that anything I offer on my shop I have to be able to send out successfully a lot of people ask me where they can get my oils that I, I make on the channel and I, I don't sell my oils because I'm not sure I could be successful mailing them out. I could mail it out and then um, <laughs> send extra wheat and say, if this falls off, glue it back on yourself. But I don't think people want to buy something they have to <laughs> reassemble. Oh, we're almost done, you guys. I think we'll be done by 6.30, or I should say uh, in 10 minutes or so. Whoops, this did not hook on, hook on, hook onto the hook. Oof, come on, you can do it. Kind of hard to hold this on camera and do this with one hand. If you try this at home, it might go a bit faster. 
Does anybody think that they might make a shrine after watching this bungling mess? This did not come out at all like I, ex I um, anticipated it to look, but I love how it came out, even though it doesn't look like I expected it to look. I'm really happy with it. Just kind of have to let, I mean, it's a Bob Ross moment, right? Just let the happy accidents happen. there you guys we're almost there Sorry about the shaky cam. It always looks a little more shaky when you zoom in. Because it's mounted on a ginormous arm so it can be really high up above the work. I've tried different ways over the years, but this is the best way so far I've found. Oh my goodness. So what's gonna hold what's gonna hold this last little bit in is of course our last bit. We can just glue it down right there and no one will see the end. Yeah. As though I planned it. Oh yeah. Bam drops the mic. <laughs> uh, Galaxia, I Lady Galaxia, I'm going to edit the footage and make it into like a more palatable video instead of a two hour situation. Okay, 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 okay. We're going to do the final reveal, <laughs> kind of. So we're going to zoom out. Mm, too far too close there we go and let's turn on it turn on the lights and then we can sneak it sneak off our lights for a second oh look at it actually maybe we can just Maybe we can turn the light way down, but still be on. How about that? So you can, so it's not so darn dark in here. <laughs> we can see the shrine. How cool is that, you guys? Anybody who would put a candle in this would, it would burn up in two seconds flat. So I light these lights around the edge. love the glitter and the pupper. I am so happy with this result, you guys. Dig, 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 dig it. I'll just try to keep this light a little lower so it kind of has a little bit of a mood to it. Oh, so cool.
All right, guys. Thank you for joining me on my very first live stream. And thank you if you lasted two and a half hours. Who knew? Okay, so I'm going to take this footage and I'm going to edit it up and there'll be something that looks like a reasonable length video on the channel soon. <laughs> and coming up this week and uh, beginning of next week, there's also going to be some autumnal equinox journaling prompts for you guys and um, a slideshow for Maybon and the equinox. So those are some videos that are coming up too. And thanks for everybody who came by, especially all the other content creators who I love. And we'll do another live in two weeks. Uh, it'll be two Wednesdays from now. We'll do it. it will, I'm just calling them Art Witch Wednesdays. And I think I might bring a bottle of wine <laughs> so we can have arts and wines. So that'll be fun. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you later.